Hi everyone, this is Brandy from Brush by Brandy. I'm a furniture painter in Sacramento, California. Um, my Facebook page is Brush by Brandy. And today I'm live on the Dixie Bell page and I'm going to be painting with Polly from Corner Line Gallery. Um, and today Polly and I are going to be making some signs. So we're going to show you how to make some cute homemade signs using some Dixie Bell paint products. So for mine, um, I pre-cut my lettering and I chose a message that I liked. It just says there's no place like home. Um, you could do this with Dixie Bell stencils or anything you like. So I cut mine with my Silhouette um, vinyl cutter and then I'm going to be using some no paint gel stains in a few different colors. So I'm going to be using Temptress, which is their new teal gel stain, um, Bayou Moss, um, Up in Smoke, which is kind of a brownish gray, very earthy tone, and then their Black Magic gel stain. I also have some paints out just so I have some variety in color. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invite Polly on so she can come paint with us, and she's got a cute one planned for you too. So hang on one second, let me get Polly for you. Okay, I needed a work table today, so um, I have mine out, and hang on one sec, I'm just going in to invite Polly. Polly, I see your name, but this is the same problem I had with my last live where I, um, I don't have an invite button for you. I don't know what makes that difference. So I'm gonna, I opened it up to, for viewers to join. Oh, hang on, there you are. You're amazing. Okay, she's gonna come on you guys. She's gonna be, I'm gonna move you guys in closer for mine. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried for a minute. Nope, I'm here. Let's see if we can. Oh, I had it set up. Can you see my screen or my, let's see, my table okay? I, I see. Yep, I see you. You're sideways. Can you turn your phone? There you go. Oh, other way, other way, other way. Um, turn it horizontally. Yeah, well, it was perfect. It was horizontal. No, oh, okay, then you're sideways like that. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can. There see. you go. Nope. That's the other side of the store. Oh, I see your shop. Yeah. All right. Um, I had it set. Now I don't know what's going on. Hmm. That's no, you good. take your time. So, well, I had um, it ready to go. Oh. Now I don't know what it's doing. I have to... Now you're looking at the ceiling. While Polly gets all set up, we'll give her a couple of minutes because it is kind of, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. Um, I'm going to kind of show you how I went from these cut pieces of lettering to putting it onto my signboard. So I cut them so that I could adjust the spacing on my signboard to ho however I want it. So I've got these already attached here, the like and the home. And then um, I'm going to attach my lettering up here. And my idea on this, you can either use a stencil and then fill your lettering spots in. I'm going to wash over the top of this so when I pull them off, I have white lettering where my um, where my vinyl was. So I'm going to wash over the top of all this and then I'll pull it off and you'll get to see the finished result. I can't see my questions, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm a little too far away and I don't have a camera person today. So I will go back onto the thread afterwards and answer any questions. You're a little sideways again, Polly. Like how sideways? Like I don't. Uh, totally sideways. Okay. Weird. Let's see if I can. There you go. That's better. That better. No. I'm gonna move you guys in closer and see if I can see my comments at the same time. I know. Got gotcha. you. But you can't have it all. Okay, so I've got my cut pieces of lettering just like this. There you go. We see you like that. But then, yep, that may, that doesn't work. Like that? Is that okay? How you were at first was, yep. 
Yep, that's better. Do you guys see Polly too? Okay, but you can't see my table. Now. Can you see my table okay? Because I can't see it in the picture. I do. Can you see? You have a I green cloth on there. Yeah, but can you just see a little bit of it, or all of oh, it. Oh, and there's your there's your materials. Yeah, I do. I see it. Okay, because on my show now it's not horizontal; it's um vertical. It's going up and down, so that's why I can't see anything. Really? Really? Older. All right. Well, can you see the sign? Okay, I guess. Okay. Yeah, see, that looks right for us. Okay, well, that's all that matters. Does that look good to you guys, too? Yeah, people are saying it looks okay for them, too. Okay, good. Okay. I was going to turn on my other phone so I could see the comments, but... Okay. I swear, you guys, this is all kinds of complicated, and I wish <laughs> Facebook would make it simpler, but, I mean, just getting on is half the battle, so I'm so glad to see your face. Yeah. So how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm good. Um, so you guys, this is Polly, and she's a Dixie Belle retailer. Her shop is called Corner Line Gallery. And um, you're in Nebraska? Yep, I'm in Fremont, Nebraska, just a little bit outside of Omaha. So, yep, we've been here. And you guys are a shop, but you... Go ahead. You guys are a shop, but you also do classes and... Um, I see you have a beautiful Dixie Bell display behind you. Yes. <laughs> That's half of it. The other half's behind I wish you. Over there. <laughs> I want all of that. <laughs> and I have one of our new um, I'm going to show tonight. I have our new farmhouse green coming out in the middle of June. So I'm going to get started painting my board with that. This is what so we're show us what you show us what you're making. Yep, I don't have a finished one because um, there was a problem with that, so another story. But I was going to do um, this sign, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I couldn't find my home uh, letters. But we're doing one similar to this. This has drop cloth in the back with, um, oh boy, is this, this with grunge glaze on it, and then the metal letters, because I want to show you the Dixie Belle you can paint on anything. But we're going to do something similar to this, just a little smaller with our love letters. So, I love that. So this, we're going to um, put, these are going to be our letter colors. We're going to make it a little retro, but I'm going to start out by painting the board with our new farmhouse green. So, now um, and you guys, while we're getting, while we're getting the base steps done, I also want to let you guys know we're going to be giving away some Dixie Belle paint tonight. If you guys share this on your page, give us some comments and then we're going to spin to win. So, um, on here, when we spin it, you can win um, awesome Dixieville prizes, paint, glazes, top coats. Uh, the jackpot would be everything that you see Polly and I using tonight, which I want to see a jackpot be given away. I haven't seen one yet. Now, did you tell them how they can win? You have to listen. Yes. So, uh, so share this onto your pages, you guys, and then come on here. Yep, and Come on here and give us. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Give us some comments. Let us know that you've shared it. And um, let me know if you have any questions as we go. Yeah, and we want to know um, if you know the Dixie Bell retailer closest to you. Um, Good question. Post that on there. So who's your favorite? Um, if you don't know who they are, you can go to the Dixie Bell Paint website and look that up. Absolutely. It's it. Uh, you click on the Find the Retailer tab and then type in your zip code and it will tell you the nearest local Dixie Belle retailer to you. So mine is Brooke in Cameron Park. She's um, Heartland Vintage Market in Cameron Park. And then Polly's in Nebraska. Anybody from Nebraska watching? Anyone? Okay, I want to show you guys how good this is covering. This is just one coat. I don't know if you can see that. Look how good it's covering. Dixie Belle is great coverage. So that's just... I love that farmhouse green. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a celery kind of color, real light. So yeah. I do these boards, I do um, drop cloth in the background, but we're going to change it up and use the farmhouse green. And then we're going to put a little bit of each of the other colors in there with a little bit of a dry brush when we paint those. And then we're going to go back and we're going to either do Van Dyke um, glaze, which is kind of a brown, or 
grunge glaze, which is a kind of a gray. So you guys let me know which one you think would be better. And then we'll do that. Interesting. So, so Polly's going to be using Dixie Belle glazes as a glaze. And I'm going to be doing using um, Dixie Belle gel stains, which can also be used as glazes too. So some fun options tonight. Yeah. Um, I'm not usually a sign maker, Polly. So like, forgive me for my amateurness. Furniture is my forte. That's okay. I do signs. I do some furniture, but um, I like to do the quick and easy signs. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my lettering on here, and it's all sticking. I know it's because because everybody's watching that I'm having issues with it. Um, so let's see. Donna, thank you for sharing. Lori, thank you. I'm trying to see my comments. They're a little far away, so forgive me. Yeah, I was going to bring mine up, and I forgot. I wanted to get this face photo. How's that look? I like it kind of offset. Oh, that's pretty. So I got one more to put up at the top. You guys, these pre-made signboards, Dixie Bell also sell these, sells these pre-made signboards that you can just get off of the Dixie Bell page. Um, some of your retailers might have them as well, but they're super handy. You don't have to worry about making your signboard. You guys, come on and tell us who your local Dixie Bell retailer is. And we are going to spin to win some Dixie Bell paint tonight live on the broadcast. Share this on your pages, please. Um, so, Polly, tell me about your shop. How long have you guys been around? Two years. Um, beside the Dixie Bell paint, we sell <laughs> local arts and crafts by local, um, all local vendors here. We have everything from stained glass to quilts to a lot of furniture um, people make with the paint and quilts and I'm trying to see what else we got. Quilt racks, <laughs> just all kinds of stuff. Okay, I have when, my- When your camera was backwards, we got a little view of your shop and it's super cute. Oh, thank you. We have murals on the wall and the whole outside is like one big mural that's kind of fun um, from a local artist here. So did, did you guys do that or was that already done when you guys moved to your building? No, we did it. It was all plain boring white. So the Oh that's awesome. Yeah, we have murals on the inside. They're just black and white, so they don't compete with the the art, but Okay. So this is metal. So Dixie Bell goes right on the metal. So I'm gonna paint so, those are your letters? Yep, these are my letters. And then when we're done, we can just screw them on the board, or we can use E6000. I don't know that we'll do that tonight. My um, husband left, but the, the ones on here. Um, E6000 is E6000 is just a heavy duty adhesive. If it's a heavy duty glue, and these are glued on with the E6000, and this has been outside banging around in the wind. I mean, the other day it was like straight out like this, and this is a 36 inch board. This is big, and they haven't fallen off, so. But the ones we do for sale, we do tend to screw on because we don't want anybody to have a disaster. But. Yeah. And I saw you guys even do these in, in your classes too. We do classes. Yep. We have the, the home class is a popular one. So that's always kind of fun. So I'm trying. <laughs> so I'm just trying to transfer my letters still and I just got the final one off. So. Now I'm going to pull my adhesive off. It's a struggle, huh? You guys appreciate your sign makers. A lot goes into this. Okay, so I'm going to paint this. If you can see, this has got a little bit of rusty edge around it, so I don't want to cover that. See, these are some... Yeah, that's cute. And see how I just kind of brushed it in between. Gives it kind of a fun, funky little look. I don't know if you can see that, but... I'm by myself too, no helper tonight. So I have. I know, it's so hard because <laughs> when you can't see your, your screen, I'm stretching to see mine. I have my other phone here, but I can't seem to find the live presentation on it. So I was going to try and do the questions that way. I don't know why it's not coming up. But I was a few minutes late tonight. It is like 9,000 degrees in my garage right now. So I had to set up my fan and everything so I don't pass out on camera for you. That would be bad. Yeah. Well, or it could be the most watched video. It'd probably go viral. <laughs> One time we were talking about 
door and the girl doing it was filming around the front Christmas time and the guy walking out front fell down. I'm like, please don't post that. She goes, Oh my god. Viral. I'm like, no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. No pressure or anything. <laughs> yeah, this guy just it was really funny. I mean, we had shoveled and salted, but you know, some people just don't know how to walk. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> So one of my favorite things I've been learning about um, all the retailers as we go on during Dixie Bell Retailers Month is um, is how you guys come up with your names. So what does Cornerline Gallery mean? What, what was the significance of that when you were choosing your business name? Well, we're in a historical district in downtown Fremont. All the shops as, as they are in, um, you know, the old towns are all in the line and we're on the corner. And it's also a baseball oh. corner line. It's like the corner of the bases. My husband was a big baseball player in college. So it kind of, I said corner line and he agreed. And so that was it. <laughs> it. It was meant to be, yeah, there was only one choice. Yeah, we didn't know what to do. You know, we bought this building. We weren't sure if we were going to put a shop in, if we were going to rent it out. And I kind of talked him into the shop. So it was all kind of really fast to get a, a name to get going. But, yeah, for sure. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Okay, so I think I have all my lettering on. This is, so I have, there's no place like home. This was significant to me because we're building a house right now. And so I just wanted kind of a homey message I thought I could put, you know, inside our front door or something. So I'm going to start with, um, my background is white, and I'm going to start with Voodoo Gel Stain and Up in Smoke. And I'm just going to wash my board. I have the water bottles here. Um, um, so Deborah's asking, Polly, do you need slick stick with the metal? No. No, you don't. It just goes right on. It just goes right on. See, I'm not doing Yeah, so Deborah, um, the just... paint will adhere. But if you're, if you're doing a surface where, you know, maybe it's going to get some use and you want to... Um, you know, ensure that adherence. Yes, slick stick is a great option for that. This is going to be a sign. It's going to be hung up on the wall with minimal finger use and things. So it's really optional. Yeah. Slick stick, if you were doing a countertop or, or maybe you had a metal table, we have a, a metal, metal table here in the shop. Um, you know, now that you would slick stick first and it would be fun because it would get Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah, this isn't going to get any use. It's just a decoration. So I'm just putting the up and smoke all over. It's a nice, like, warm gray color. It almost, if it was a paint color, it's kind of like gravel, Dixville Gravel Road. I still want some of my white to show through. just want this to look kind of like a worn piece of wood. Um, one option too, when I put my letters on, these are adhesive, but if you're using, oh, let's see, you can put, um, clear coat around the edge of your lettering and it will keep any, anything you put over it from bleeding through. So I'm not doing that today because my lettering was it already adhesive. Now I'm going to brush in some black magic, which is one of Dixie Bell's new gel stains. Ooh, I don't have that. Ooh, oh, it's a surprise then. Yeah. Um, there's all, already such a full line, but these new products are so much fun to get to use something, you know, different for the first time. What's your favorite of the four new colors? Well, the only one I have right here is the farmhouse, but I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see. I really this, this farmhouse green, so I'm not sure. Do I to see till I get them? The color so I put my gel, is my gel stains on, and now I'm wiping them back just because I want I have great wood grain texture on here, and I want it inside that texture. I'm gonna peel these letters off, you guys, and they'll be white in the background.
So let's see. Now I think I'm going to add some of the Temptress. Temptress, Dixie Belle. How did this get named Temptress? Is a turquoise gel stain. Same Temptress. Temptress. Let them know the colors I'm using. This um, purple here on the L is Amethyst. I just did this flower in the Peony, which is one of our newer colors. Oh, I love Peony. Yeah, it's a really hot pink. And um, this one, I want this to look kind of retro. I'm just going to put a little bit of the pink on the top. This is going to go on top of that one. I kind of like this look on here, so we're just going to keep it. A little bit of the flowers. And this can go outside once it's fully cured in 20 days. All right, will you top coat it when you're no, done? Anything to them. Uh -uh. Nope, it'll be fine. That's awesome. Yeah. And now I'm going to use Daisy here on my V. And now I'm going to go to Bayou Moss Gel Stain, which is kind of a sagey green kind yeah. of gel stain. I just want this wood to look super worn. I love these containers, by the way, because you can just squeeze it onto your product. Project, I guess, would be a better word. Still was trying to see if we had any questions. Um, oh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm kind of trying to look, but they're hard for me to see too. Um, Dixie Bell is on here. They're helping us out answering questions. Thank you so much, Dixie Bell. Oh, they are okay. Good. Um, you guys, we're gonna be if you guys like and share this post, and then come on and tell us who your local Dixie Bell retailer is. We are gonna be giving away some Dixie Bell paint products in this broadcast. So I'm going to show you guys this up close because that gel stain has really gotten into the wood grain on here. And it's really helped bring out some of the texture. So my light kind of blurring it out. I love this. I want more of the turquoise teal in here though. I lost some of it when I put the Bayou Moss on here. So I'm going to do more of the Temptress. Now, are those all gel stains that you're using, Brandy? Yeah, these are all just gel stains. Sounds like we're kind of doing the same thing, but I'm using paint and you're using gel stains. So it's kind of fun. Exactly. Because what I'm going to do is when this dries a little bit more, I got a little heavy, I'm going to take and dry brush all four of these colors on here before I put my glaze on. It gives it that. Dry brush them onto your lettering? No, no, onto the base. On your sideboard. Oh, oh, yeah. cute. That'll be really cute. Yeah. And it gives a little bit of color. You can do it. You can, like, use part of a stencil. You can just dry brush randomly. And it gives it um, kind of a worn look, like if you're looking for, like, an old board look. Sometimes I'll do it with the Van Dyke stain for, like, a barn wood look. Um, some of these boards back here, like, I can, this one has a lot on it. Um, I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's this is drop cloth with the Van Dyke glaze, and there's lots of colors in the background of these signs. So they're kind of fun. They come out all different all the time. And this, this, this one is a lot lighter, just with the exact same colors, but with the grunge glaze on it. So it gives it a different look. Oh, okay. So it's going to be fun to see how this green looks on there. Okay, so these are all drying. These are probably going to need two coats maybe and now i'm gonna do um cobalt blue make sure i do it right side up oh cobalt oh you've got some awesome colors going on yeah i kind of want it to look a little so red. cobalt amethyst and peony and daisy kind of oh and daisy yeah i missed that one yeah and i love how these gel stains have just totally sunk into the wood grain on my piece so once I peel these letters off, I should have white under there, in theory. We'll see. 
Um, and now I'm going to take some caviar, which is Dixie Belle's black, and I'm just going to age around the edges of my sign so it looks like it's been hung forever and weathered and... I'm just going to kind of hit the edges of this with some black. Um, you guys, we're going to be going on and um, giving away some paint. We're celebrating Dixie Bell Retailer Week on the Dixie Bell page today with Polly from Cornerline Gallery. Um, she's a Dixie Bell retailer in Nebraska. Um, and if you go onto the Dixie Bell page, you guys, you can input your zip code and it will tell you where your local retailer is, who are your best resource for helping find the products that you need for whatever project you have in mind. There are 60 colors in the line with four that are being introduced, four more in addition to the 60 that are coming out next month. Later this, this is really exciting. already so soon. I know I'm counting the days. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up already. Okay. Um, the the new the navy is my favorite. They have a new uh like oh. a true navy called in the navy, and that's my favorite. Yeah. I was gonna bring up this colors here and find it. Um, there. What? It's like a dark maroon or also coming out, I think it is. Oh, yeah, the aubergine. Yeah, um, it's a, yeah. yeah, it's a really rich purple. I have a couple projects in aubergine that I'm dying to share. And what's the other one? There's another one. Yeah. Um, oh, the, the dark chocolate, which is, um, right. yeah. uh, what's it called? Co coffee bean. Coffee bean, that's right. So I put my I put my caviar around the edges of my sign, and now I'm also going over my letters, just so it's a little darker around them. So when I peel my lettering off, they'll be a little bit shaded too. Caviar is great for shading. So is the new coffee bean, actually. That's a great color for shading. Yeah. <laughs> So um, how did you get your start, Polly? Were you a furniture painter first? No. Uh -uh. Or did, did your shop did your shop make you become one? Well, Dixie Bell did. <laughs> Dixie Bell. <laughs> That's a good reason. Yeah. No, um, just kind of a more all around crafter. And okay. When I was looking for um things to put in the shop to sell, um. You know, I I basically researched all the different paints. And because we're yeah. a local shop, I wanted something made in the USA because that's kind of important to me. And I, um, you know, wanted a good quality product. So I, I did a lot of research, and then I came up with the Dixie Bell. And I really like it. I You know, I go to their conventions for the retailers and learn all the different products. And I think it's a great company. They stand behind their products. They stand behind their retailers. And... It's just, I just think it's great. I, That's how I kind of. I could not agree myself. more. When um when I was looking at you know, joining a team of of products to advocate for, it needed to be something I genuinely, um believe in. And Dixie Bell was an easy win there. Their paint is just an absolutely beautiful product. It is. Goes. Their on. entire line actually. I know. There's. So there's I'm peeling my letters off. You can't see them as well as I hoped. So this might be an epic fail in my book, and that's okay. I'm going to probably go back and I'll hand paint this with a, I'll hand paint my lettering with a marker, with a um, paint marker instead. I've never done it that way. I can't tell. Maybe this gives me a good outline now. Yeah. That's okay. You know, um, there are fails and... Part of learning this is learning how to go back and fix them. So this is going to be one I fix, but that's okay. I do that a lot. <laughs> don't be a hot, don't be a hot. And that's a yeah. You don't. Stuff, you don't like it. You don't see. You just pay right you off. You don't see all the. <laughs> you don't see all the fails on people's Facebook page, but there are fails behind every piece, you guys. Yeah. 
And Dixie Belle paint is so forgiving. If you don't like this, if I get this done and I just hate these colors, I can just go right back over this with another color. Nobody, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's how, that's how any project is. You know, if you're doing a furniture piece, you can keep layering the colors and it can actually be a benefit because then you can distress just some of your colors underneath and get a layered look. It's, um, Yep. Yeah, so I mean, I really like the look of this. The gel stains worked fabulously, but my lettering did not. Yeah, I had a lady in the shop today that was um, layering turquoise under black for a client. So that's interesting. So turquoise that's under black. Oh, yeah, like um, um, mermaid tail with like black wax is stunning. That would be pretty, yeah. So I'm going to stop showing you guys this because it's terrible. <laughs> How are you doing over there? I'm doing good. I'm going to work on my things here, and then I'm going to go back and just dry brush a little bit on my sun. I'm waiting for it to get dry so I can get that on there. I was going to paint it ahead of time, but I wanted everybody to see that it really is just one coat over the wood, and it looks great. Yeah. It's pretty dry. It dries pretty fast. Not a lot to it. I get a hairbrush in there. Oh, it's a little bit weird. While you're doing that, I'm gonna grab a I'm gonna grab a paint marker and I'll just I'm gonna start going over my lettering and I'm gonna fix my fail. <laughs> no fails, just design. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, not a fail. Still a work in progress. Yeah. Get most of the paint off of this brush and just do little straight. Just little little streaks. I don't know if you can see it. Just little streaks. And you can actually do straight up if you want more brighter streaks. This is kind of a green, so I kind of wanted it really light. So I'm getting most of the paint off. I just miss not paying any attention. To kind of do want to keep them a little bit straight. Okay, so that's it. Blue. No, no rhyme or reason. Don't do all the colors if you don't. Did anybody give me an opinion what color they thought I should do? Grunge or Van Dyke glaze? Because we're almost there. Let me see if I can see the comments. So you guys get to vote. What's your what's your pick for Polly's glaze? Would you choose grunge, which is a gray, or Van Dyke, which is brown? It doesn't look great, guys. You guys don't have to console me. It doesn't look great. I mean, it's cute. Um, thankfully, as a perpetual crafter, I have paint markers readily available. So I'm just going to trace where my lettering was in black because you can't see it in the white. I thought it would be cute, but it's not. Okay. So you know how you have to activate your paint markers? Like, there we go. Yeah, push down on them. Okay. Now I'm just going to trace over where my lettering was. Do I get any votes on my paint or my stain color? Because I'm almost there. I really don't see any. Grunt. We got three grunge from Sylvia, Michelle. Oh, grunge. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to go grunge. We're going to go grunge. Okay. We'll go grunge. So it'll be lighter, which is fine. Emily says grunge. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Oh yeah. I see. Okay. I don't. So, I don't. Here's the board. It's got lots of little colors on it. I hope you can see. So now we're gonna go with the with the grunge. Pick up my mess here. Let's see. So we're going to use the Van Dyke. It's dirty because I use this all the time. It's it's the um the Dixie Belle grunge glaze, not Van Dyke. Sorry. Put the Van Dyke away. I had them both here. So I'm going to take my board. I'm going to use a brush. What I do is lots of times when I have a class, people always think I need to save these brushes. It's just a chip brush. So I save them. And then I use them for this. And then I throw them away. Yeah, I wash my chip <laughs> brushes out too. <laughs> Unless I use them for like an oil base. And then, then, uh, yeah. then, they're, going in the, then they're going in the garbage. Yeah. I save them for staining. 
I, well, I tell them they can keep them or they can just throw them away if they don't want. But a lot of ladies want to clean them and they put them back in the thing. So, I like you know, the Dixie Belt, the Dixie Belt chip brushes are a little nicer than your average chip brush, too. Right. This isn't a Dixie Belt one. I have a bunch of them over there for sale. This is just a little cheapy one. I'm doing the sides because I think your signs, you have to do the sides so they look finished. Oh, yeah, totally. It's going to be up on the wall. You're going to see the sides of the sign. I'm just going over my letters with this um, paint marker. I probably can't see it up like this. But I'm literally using it as a template. So now what I'm going to do on here is just basically wipe this on with the brush, just going with the grain back and forth, and then I'm going to wipe it off. It's going to be amazing. The longer you leave it on, the darker it will be. So I want to do it kind of fast because I kind of want it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to get it on here pretty good. That's cuter, huh? Yeah, with the black lettering, it's way cuter. You can see it against this background. It's totally perfect. So you can see the one I've done. Yeah, it does look better. Thank you, Sylvia. I agree. The white was a no good. So this will take this will take me a while. This will be a good um, therapy project to sit and trace lettering. Um, you guys, we're getting to the end of the broadcast, and we're going to be giving away some paint tonight. So share this on your pages. Let us know who your local Dixie Bell retailer is, and we will choose one of you before we get off tonight to give away some Dixie Bell paint. We're going to spin to win. Okay, I've got the whole board covered with the glaze. I'm going to wipe it off. I just have a rag, just a piece of rag. I'm just going to wipe it off. And it's going to be magic. You can wipe off as much as you want. Leave as much as you want. I really like to get it going. Yeah. Great. You know, I feel like my lettering was a failure, but like I absolutely love the background of the side signboard. Just using all the gel stains, layering those colors for the wash. It's the signboard is beautiful. Maybe just a little bit too much right there. Okay. Okay, now I want you guys to see. So I'm gonna hold it pretty close. Can you see how great that is? It's the green with the grunge over it. It looks amazing. And then you see the little bit of the color that, coming through. Can you guys see it okay? Looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a great combo. Yeah. And then we'll just take our letters and lay them on here. Now this is still a little wet, but it should be okay. And then what I usually do is that we drill holes right here and use that heavy twine like on this sign to hang it with. Oh, whoops. That would have been a disaster. Oh, so you just drill the holes and hang it with the sign is huge. Okay. Um, and the and the where'd you get the the um the metal letters that you're using? I ordered them. You can cut them out. If okay, but those are I mean those are pretty available at at your local craft store too. Yeah, Hobby Lobbies or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they sell them in wood. They even have them in like a thick cardboard fairly inexpensively that you can paint. You know, you could even use like a patina paint on them and make them look like metal. So I hope you can see it. That looks kind of retro. They're not glued down yet. I'll probably um, screw these in um, because I'm probably going to sell this one. But what do you guys think? Is it pretty cute? Kind of retro. I love your colors. Yeah, and you could go back and, you know, do something else with it. Maybe put some polka dots on the yellow if you wanted to get crazy. Or, you know, put the flower like this or however you wanted. But that would be cute. Yeah, there's lots of different ways you can do it. But I just wanted to show you how the, the, the glaze works to make your board. You can make it look a little bit older. If you wanted it to really look like old barn, just use the Van Dyke glaze. Put a couple. It's really fun just to take part of a stencil and put it on there and then sand it down a little bit so it looks like it's worn off. 
like just any crazy letter. Yeah. And then and then just do the rest of it. And it really makes it look an old, you know, a little bit older. A lot of people with like those raised letters, you could you could use a nice stencil behind it, and it would be really pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah. So brush by Brandy, not a sign maker. I'm a furniture maker, guys. Sorry, I tried. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told sorry. you. Signs. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Polly for your signs, not me, guys. And this is our <laughs> new color, um, farmhouse green on the metal. Okay. So what do you see? I mean, the colors are really pretty. It's my lettering that's messed up. So it, once I fix that, I think it's a, it's a pretty. It's pretty. It's just my lettering. It looks great. That was all me. Yeah. Uh, the layers of gel stain are perfect. If you have a piece with nice wood grain texture, this is like, I mean, this is that beachy wood look. Yeah. Look at that. Don't look, don't look at this. Yeah. Just look at the wood and I did. <laughs> and I think you can. So anyway, with just let's something. give away some paint tonight. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, ready? We're gonna. Oh, actually, we need to choose somebody on the broadcast. So let's see who's been commenting and sharing. Oh, I can reach my comments and I'll scroll through and see. All so my stuff falls on the floor. Having fun tonight. Let's see. I'm scrolling through, seeing who's shared. All right, Vicki Hunt shared, and she told us who her retailer was. So, Vicki, are you on here still? Vicki Hunt, you get to spin to win. All right, here we go. Hi, Sarah. Okay. All right, I can't see it. What did Vicky win? 32 ounces. Oh, she won 32 ounces of paint. Oh. Vicky, and you share it again. Congratulations, Vicky. You won 32 ounces of paint in the color of your choice. That's this size. Vicky. So, Vicky, you get to go shopping on the Dixie Bell page. Um. Message me your info, Vicki, and, and your color choice, and we'll get that out to you. Congratulations. Um, you guys, check out the Dixie Bell page to find your local retailer. Thank you, Polly, from Cornerline Gallery. Your sign is way cuter than mine. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Just different. <laughs> <laughs> you were great, yes. Um, and you guys, check out um, the Dixie Bell paints and gel stains on their on their page, and, and go find your local retailer. So, you guys have a great Thursday. I'm looking forward to this weekend. It was so nice to paint with you, Polly. Thank you. Bye, Randy. Bye, guys.